my channel the collection with you mr team again okay guys today i will make a video about grammar as usual and i will talk about a little bit about living abroad you know and we are going to some really popular education centers of fergana with my friends and today i will take interview from Marika and mr baha and you know uh, i think it will be awesome just watch and don't forget leaving comment. Thank you for watching my video. I'm spent actually and finally we have arrived to office center. Let's go guys. Good morning. morning. I'll get that. How is it going? Fine, I think. You know, I was curious about knowing one really interesting thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, all the time people argue, argue about this. Uh, what do you think about learning grammar mm -hmm. so deep? Uh, some, uh, some people learn English, I mean grammar. They just uh, try to know about some rules, but at the same time, they don't care about speaking. Uh -huh. What do you think about this stuff, you know? Uh, should we learn grammar so deep, or we, we have to know only basic, I mean grammar, and then we have to speak? What do you think about this stuff? Okay, so I'm a grammar teacher. So <laughs> yeah. I approve learning grammar and but it doesn't mean that uh, you know that to learn to speak and to express your own ideas and um, to be able to talk in English, you have to learn English grammar thoroughly. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of uh, that was the method, you know, which has been implemented for many years, especially in Uzbekistan, and students learn English grammar so deeply. So they were gone too far and that's the reason why they couldn't develop other skills, including speaking. And that's why, um, so this was a failure in our system that uh, yeah. lots of Uzbek students know what is, they can translate, they can figure out the right answer, yeah. but they cannot express themselves, sure. even in simple situations. And that shows that this system doesn't work. Yeah. And we have to move from this system to a more efficient learning systems. So, and here, the question which is very valid, I think, that grammar, so how much grammar we need in order to express ourselves. And you know that, mm, I would say that it depends on what our aims are. For mm -hmm. example, if you want to score, let's say, 5, 5.5 uh, 5 .5 or 6 maybe, so I don't think that you, your grammar should be perfect, mm -hmm. but in order to produce perfect essays, uh, in order to be able to speak in a sophisticated language, grammar is needed. Sure. And that's why, so it depends on the student and their goals. So how much do they want grammar and how much uh, do they want to progress in this language? So I mean, so let's say, in order to be proficient learner, so grammar is needed. But in order to express yourself and just to be able to talk, so basic grammar is enough, I think. Okay, thank you. You know, I consider you as a one one of the well experienced teacher of Uz Uz not only Fergana but also Uzbekistan. That's why I come to <laughs> so your education center. Thank you for being honest okay welcome okay watch my video
come to Kevin's Academy and now I will take interview from I him. Before um, I've come to Kevin's Academy and now I want to just take an uh, interview from the Miss Baha, one of the really popular teachers in the Fergana. I think not in only Fergana but also in Uzbekistan. I think. Yes. You know, uh, I want to just ask her some questions mm -hmm. from you uh, because you uh, have been in the foreign countries and yeah. you know about this more than others. Okay, the first question, what the best thing to do before going there? Mm -hmm. First thing, I think you should really find your like passionate subject. Yeah. So the field that you love to study okay. and you don't have to care about like which country to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, most people today are trapped by like bandwagon effect called if someone goes, if one person goes to one country and the rest goes to yeah. another country, like yeah, Korea, sure. Korea, in case you can yeah, see in sure. Uzbekistan. Yeah. And that's why, guys, I advise you to find out your the passion subject you want to study and yeah. you have a lot to do when you go. And uh, do research about the universities which offer a perfect yeah. uh, perfect teaching approach about your subject. Uh -huh. Let's say if you want to learn about medicine, I think the best way is to go to Korea because I heard from my sister that yeah. Korea teaches very well and offers perfect education okay. system about medicine. But if you want to study law or business, then you should go to you should think of uh, think of uh, UK, maybe the UK or the United States of America or let's say Australia business in terms of business and law. Uh -huh. Of course, you can't do uh, medicine there because it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. You should shell out tons of money on, on your education. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, best way is to do research, not only about the education system, but also about uh, culture, religion. Because, yeah. uh, because the, the first country I went to is the United Kingdom. So yes. it's very difficult to, if you are a Muslim, mm -hmm. so it's some, and sometimes it's very tough to survive there. Yeah, sure. Even the foods are very expensive. I mean, like Islamic foods, and because they don't have Islamic How foods. Yeah. yeah, and burgers, and everywhere you can find, like hot dog stand. <laughs> and uh, yes, to do research about your subject and the best country. Mm -hmm. And uh, another but important step is to take your budget into account. So yeah. how much are you willing to pay? If you don't want to pay a lot of money, then you are better off with going to Korea. Mm -hmm. So because if yeah. you have IELTS, guys, uh, you can get like 70% discount because yeah. ours is like getting like 7 and last time Mr. Steve he's going to Korea and he got 70% discount yeah. from Korean University so that's uh, I think very good yeah. so you should and also guys if you want to be successful when you go to abroad you should be reading a lot of stuff every day because even we had a problem when we were in the UK in terms of using like a simple calculator Wow. Because I was using simple calculator, but uh, you know, guys, they are very quick and they are so efficient. So they say, Baha, why don't you like scientific calculator? Because we didn't have any idea about scientific calculator. You weren't but, aware about it. Yes. <clears throat> it was very tough. And read every day so that you need like horizon. Yeah. Uh, for, so, so if yes. you want to succeed. And, yeah. and do research about food, guys. It's very important. Yeah. Foods are important because sure. we like fried foods and maybe the country you are going to and people there like uh, seafood. Mm -hmm. So you should take a lot of things into account. Food, a law, accommodation, your budget, living cost and do you have any friends there? So that when you go there you can immediately find a job to survive. Otherwise you will uh, put your parents at risk in terms of finance. Mm -hmm. so, and then take your budget into account, how much money do you have, how much are you willing to pay and do you have the IELTS or not, this is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have at least 6.5 or 7. Okay, you yeah. yeah you know and, and the second question is uh, I think a lot of guys I mean, really curious about this, that's why I just wanted to ask this. Uh, how was it I mean, what did you feel when you went there? I mean, yeah. It's like we call we have the the idiom called home sweet home. Of yeah. course, you miss your home, your your miss your home. You miss your family members, relatives. Yeah, sure. But you know, YOLO, YOLO. You only live once, so you gotta just keep going. Yeah. And you you have to be successful. So that's the idea. That's the main purpose you have in yourself. So when you go there, you should be successful. That's why your parents are investing. You know, splurging on you. Yeah. 
And I felt great because people are social. Yeah. In Uzbekistan, I don't know people, but abroad people were so social, you know, right. enjoy blowouts, parties, barbecue, and experience. Of course, you have like ups and downs. And sometimes we were running out of money, and sometimes yeah. we were making a lot of money, you know. That's uh, the most important thing, guys. Don't give up in the first three months, uh -huh. which are very difficult in the beginning. Yes. You lose your home, you, you cannot find a job, maybe. The perfect toughest, job. Yeah. This is the toughest one. But since once you go into your education, so you forget everything. Uh -huh. So you just have to be uh, reading, uh, preparing for exams, and going to conferences, you know, yeah. learn about. Uh, because you have a lot of successful people there, you can talk to your professors, and the best thing is to travel. Mm -hmm. So after yeah. six months, I start traveling around the world, and I forgot, uh, to be honest, even, <laughs> I forgot to miss my mom in some time, you know? Oh my gosh, so, really? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's the great part. Oh so traveling God. is the best thing. So you can travel, but not only for, you know, for enjoyment. You can also get you know experience, something, yes. learn something, sure. improve your writing without writing. Ah, yeah, and sure. Improve speaking. So, and making a lot of friends, and, and, and you can even travel for free. Because when you have friends in Cambodia, they say, I went to Cambodia, yeah. and my friend, he accommodated me with everything. Uh, so, food, and space to yeah. stay, and everything, and traveling costs, he covered. So, that's the best thing. You should have a lot of friends. And that's the best thing. If you have friends, you can be successful. But make sure you surround yourself with only great-minded people. Sure. This means that, uh, I mean, you said that, like, a learning by the, I mean, learning was natural. It's yeah. like, a, yes, yes. Yeah, because uh, you you don't need any, uh, like, a reading books or these yeah, kind of yeah. things. And you can just learn naturally, yeah? Yeah, you can speak in naturally. And you should sometimes, of course, be reading books, some books. Yeah. Uh, psychology. Anyway, and yeah. Like, but the most important thing is just go out to get it. Yeah. It's not going to come to your home. You should get your ass off and then go out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. It no was problem. cool. I appreciate your support. Thanks, man. Okay, guys. Stay tuned. This is one of the <laughs> great oh, bloggers in Pragana. Soon he is back to maybe around the world. Yeah, he was my teacher, actually, you know, and uh, at the same time, he's my really close friend. Maybe sometimes we cannot talk or cannot chat with each other, but anyway, yeah. I consider him like one of the really close friends of mine. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much guys for coming here.